Okay, first I'm going to make a brick wall. I'm going to scale down the cube to make a brick shaped object. I'm going to use bevel, make it look a little more brick like. And I'm going to build the wall with arrays. Um, there we go. Had a bunch of bricks. No matter what size the brick, the arrays are relative, so it's just gonna keep going like that. We have this solid thing, but it's made up of actual bricks. You can see in wireframe mode. So this can get very laggy, but let's keep going. Uh, we're gonna add another mesh, and this is gonna be the Boolean mesh. We wanna put like an architectural tunnel in here that looks interesting and have all kinds of detail levels whatever so there's there's a shape that would be hard to model into these bricks uh, you might want to line it up with the bricks Looks a little better when it's done. Um, and here we have an issue. There's, there's a trick by Rom Diggity Dog from the Discord that figured this out. Um, if I just press Control Shift B. Oh, right. Okay. So if you haven't already, you have to turn on bool tool. Uh, that'll help. But uh, to create a brush boolean difference, normally that would cut out a hole. But since this is a bunch of little bricks and not one solid object, uh, that has issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply these array modifiers. And that still doesn't help. But what we're going to do Go into edit mode and separate by loose parts. Press P by loose parts. And now it works because each brick works independently um, with the Boolean. So we can go in there and see this tunnel is carved out just exactly the way we want it. Um, you might, you, if you don't see anything, turn on self intersection. If you hold down Alt and click it, it will it will change whatever setting you're you're changing altogether. It might be laggy. You might want to switch it to fast while you edit, because you can go back in here and make whatever edits you want. It'll actually uh, make those edits to the bricks. And that's the entire trick. When you're done, um, I would do. Uh, Right click convert to mesh is probably the easiest way to apply all the modifiers at once and then you can join them together and do it out whatever you want with it. You'd want to delete that. So that's the entire trick.